Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms. And uh, project I'm in the middle of right now, figured I'd stop and kind of show how I'm doing it in case someone else comes across this same issue and uh, is needing it, is I bought this tractor. It's an LS XR4140, I believe it's a 2016. Uh, really like the tractor. It's a great tractor, but first of all, I can't leave anything be. I've got to do some modifications, make it uh, work a little better for me. But, uh, and, and I've been doing that. One thing that has been kind of bothering me on this is I need a toolbox for it. And I've been trying to figure out some way to make the toolbox. I've uh, been online, been on a couple Facebook groups, and I haven't found exactly what I'm, uh, kind of what I want, but I'm tired of tools, you know, kind of rolling around in the cab and I'm afraid hammer or something's gonna hit the glass and break it. So, I got looking around at the tractor, and uh, it's a little dark. I got the lights. Hopefully, you can see. There's a bracket here. Looks like it's maybe made for a uh, toolbox, and uh, these are M6 screws will fit in there. So, I've kind of been playing around, been. Uh, looking at a way to do something and what i've come up with excuse the mess it's winter i need to pick up but yeah it's a mess in here so i've got some tubing there's some old tubing i had in the barn i uh, matched it up drilled some holes it's an old toolbox from a tractor not sure what kind of tractor it is uh you know my family's always been pretty partial to the ford in series the eight ends and then the later the 860s the uh 800 series i love those old tractors and so it's probably off of one of those i'm i don't know but it's been sitting in the barn forever and when it warms up a little bit i'm gonna paint it right now we just had uh, four inches of snow come in last night and this morning and it's about 30 degrees so i'm not going to try to paint it but I'm going to go ahead and mount it up and then probably take it off here in a couple of days. You know, northern Missouri, it'll be 10 degrees one day and 60 degrees a week later. So I'll get it painted up then. But anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up. I'm going to drill uh, holes through the toolbox to mount it on here and just uh, mount straight into the tractor. All right, got the drill out, got my holes drilled. And I'm just going to bring the screws from the inside of the toolbox out, go through the bar, and go straight into the tractor. All right, took a little longer than I thought. Had to re-drill the holes. I got them off just a little bit. But as for now, we got it all done. Got a place I can keep some wrenches, some fencing pliers, a uh, hammer, and uh, take some tools with me so I don't have to keep running up to the house or have them rolling around the cab. I'm going to paint this as soon as it warms up, like I said, and probably I'm going to upgrade it to a nicer toolbox, but this just happened to be one I had in the barn. The store's up close to me. Walmart really didn't have anything that would work. We've got an Orchland's in town. They didn't have anything. They're getting bought out by Tractor Supply right now, so I'm sure... I don't know, I'm not a big fan of tractor supply, so I'm sure they're going to kind of go downhill. So, I don't know, hopefully uh, maybe Rural King or Farm and Home Supply might uh, come to this area. That'd be nice. But anyway, that's the toolbox that, uh, that I've got on there for now. I've got just two bolts holding it on, good and, good and sturdy, nice and rusty. But like I said, hopefully uh, we can fix that pretty soon. It's Matt the Momo Hunter from McGee Farms, and if you like the video, if it helped you out, please consider subscribing. Maybe leave us uh, a comment, some likes. It's all appreciated. Thank you.